Brian here. Today, I'm breaking down the five main causes behind bent or broken connecting rods, so you can take measures when replacing your pistons or rebuilding an engine. Cause number one, improper bearing clearance. Connecting rod bearings are the unsung heroes of your engine. They sit between the rod and crankshaft, reducing friction and supporting massive combustion forces. When bearing clearance is too tight, you get insufficient lubrication and excessive friction. Too loose, and you'll experience a drop in oil pressure. Both scenarios result in metal-on-metal -metal contact, heat buildup, and eventually, catastrophic rod failure. Always follow manufacturer specs during assembly, and pay attention to rod knock sounds. Cause number two, rod bolt failures. Your connecting rod bolts are arguably the most stress fasteners in your entire engine. These small components must maintain critical clamping force between the rod and its cap, while enduring high tensile stress with every engine cycle. Wrong torquing during assembly or choosing bolts not designed for your engine's power output are recipes for disaster. When a rod bolt fails, it can cause the rod to break free and literally punch through your engine block. Cause number three, engine detonation. That knocking or pinging sound you might hear under acceleration is a connecting rods crying for help. It happens when the fuel-air mixture ignites before the spark plug fires, creating a shockwave that hammers your connecting rods with extreme force. This can be caused by lean air-fuel mixtures, high compression ratios, heat, or using lower octane fuel than recommended. The mechanical stress from even brief periods of detonation can bend rods, break them entirely, or damage the bearings beyond repair. Cause number four, hydrolocking. Hydrolocking occurs when liquid fills a cylinder instead of the compressible air-fuel mixture. Common culprits include head gasket failures allowing coolant into cylinders, cracked blocks, or excessive fuel from stuck injectors. When your piston tries to compress this incompressible liquid, something has to give. Usually it's the connecting rod that bends or breaks. Perfectly good engines can get destroyed in seconds from hydrolock. Cause number five, incorrect rod selection. Last but certainly not least is using the wrong connecting rods for your application. Your connecting rods must match your engine's power output, RPM range, and intended use. Lightweight rods designed for lower horsepower will fail quickly in a high-performance engine pushing serious boost. Conversely, overly heavy rods increase reciprocating mass and can cause fatigue failure over time. When building or modifying an engine, matching rod specs to your power goals is essential. So there you have it, the five main causes behind bent or broken connecting rods. 